<laughs> you've had to deal with controversial. Why you wore a red tie? Exactly. Go ahead. Uh, you've had to deal with controversial shootings in your own state. What do you make of Chicago's move recently to sort of retrain police? Maybe make them not so quick to use their guns. Well, I I, re I created a task force uh, well over a year ago, and the purpose was to bring law enforcement, community people, um, clergy, and the person that I named as one of the co-chairmen is a lady by the name of Nina Turner, a former state senator, a liberal Democrat, actually ran against one of my friends, and our head of public safety. And they trying to make sure that we can begin to heal some of these problems that we see between community and police. And they came back with 23 recommendations. One of them is, is a statewide use of deadly force. And it is now being put into place every place across the state of Ohio. Secondly, a policy on recruiting and hiring, and then more resources for, uh, for, tra for uh, training. But let me also tell you, one of the issues has got to be the integration of both community and police. Community has to understand that that police officer wants to get home in, at night and uh, not, not to lose their life. Their family's waiting for them. At the same time, law enforcement understands there are people in the community who not only think that the system doesn't work for them, but works against them. See, in Ohio, we've had some controversial decisions, but the leaders have come forward to realize that protest is fine, but violence is wrong. And it has been a remarkable situation in our state. And as President of the United States, it's all about communication, folks. It's all about getting people to listen to one another's problems. And when you do that, you will be amazed at how much progress you can make and how much healing we can have. Because folks, at the end of the day, the country needs healed. I've heard a lot of hot rhetoric here tonight, but I gotta tell you, as somebody that actually passed a budget that paid down a half a trillion dollars of our national debt, you can't do it alone. You've got to bring people together, you've got to give people hope, and together we can solve these problems that hurt us and heal America. And that is what's so critical for our neighborhoods, our families, our children, and our grandchildren.